All right, next up on our Alabama Crimson Tide NFL Draft Preview, we've got Landon Dickerson. Mac Hereford here to break it down, and you know Landon Dickerson pretty well. What is there not to love about Landon Dickerson? He's a center. He's the one you want on your team. Unfortunately, he did struggle with injury. He went down uh, during the season. You obviously watching uh, from afar I, as you uh, you have finished your time with the Crimson Tide, but certainly uh, put in put in work. Um, just your thoughts about Landon Dickerson, his career, and obviously seeing him go down and what that really meant to the team and to him, and you know his hopes for the NFL. Yeah. So I mean, immediate thoughts like I was like, dang, you know, uh, a guy I know really well who I, he's awesome is is hurt, and so when that injury happened, it, it definitely like made me sad. I was like, gosh, like, I hate this for him because, and I think everybody on the field hated it for him as well. I mean, he's just, like you were saying, what, what do you not love about Landon Dickerson? He's just this, like, just good old country boy, just <laughs> fun, like, exciting to be around. But when we talk about his career as a whole, I can just think back personally to when he came into the locker room, you know, he transferred from Florida State, um, and most transfers are a little bit, I would say, it takes them a while as it does like freshmen to kind of really mold with the group and mesh with the group and Landon Dickerson did it so well he came in it felt like he like during fall camp it felt like he'd been with us for like three or four years you know he, he just like came right in extremely humble didn't have like it seemed like any expectations to be like the starter or, like you know to be the, the star guy um, and just worked extremely hard like was always reliable and dependable it reminds me of just like someone who loves just like, you know, classic football, like just hitting people and, and, and all of that. Uh, and then this past year became like this like icon, like almost like a beacon for the team, like this guy who they can all just like rally behind, like Landon Dickerson, like he's just hysterical. Um, and so when he went down, like you were saying, it's just like, I was like, gosh, I hope it doesn't take a hit on the team because just him being on the sidelines, him playing and being out there, the impact he has on others around him is just like, it's big time. Like he, he's very charismatic and like he just, people love to be around him, but he can really rally the troops. Like he can fire guys up um, through, you know, all kind of ways. And so I was worried about that, but I think at the same time I knew, and when we saw later on when he carried Coach Saban off the oh, field, goodness. like it was absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, there was some guys, I was at the, the national championship and it was like, you know, Jalen, uh, Jalen Hurts, like Ruggs, um, Tony Brown, Savion Smith, all those guys sitting up there together and we're watching the like, game and watching the end and the celebration. And I'm pretty sure like Savion or someone pointed out, like, holy cow, that's the guy who was like injured, you know, he's carrying Coach Saban off the field, like this is wild. Um, and, and it just like brought excitement to us, but I know it brought excitement to them as well. Um, what and, about Nick Saban? Do you think it brought oh, excitement to him? I'm pretty sure it did. You know, I think he loved it. Um, yeah. And he doesn't love, it's not like he's like joking around a lot. He doesn't I, love a lot of things like that, but, <laughs> but it's cool. He enjoyed that. Um, and then just getting to see Landon mess around at Pro Day, whether he's like crawling up behind Mac Jones oh, or like yeah. doing cartwheels. Like, you know, I don't think the injury is something to worry about when he's able to do cartwheels uh. and, you know, crawling at Pro Day or whatnot. So I think he'll be fine and coming back from it stronger. And I think just people want to see him succeed and have just seen him with the ability to change teams and come in so fast, like that should be something the NFL teams are thinking like, wow, he can come from one system to another and just ball out completely and just be, you know, organically just come right into this group and this team and be such a, like a key impact. Download the Milo's mobile app today and receive a free cheeseburger after your first purchase.